You know, Andre Ward is a very cool, calm, collective guy. Sergey Kovalev, he's a very angry, scary guy. Those dynamics together are going to create an explosive fight. I believe so. Uh, Sergey learned, you know, somebody said to me earlier today, why do you think he fights well when he's angry? Well, Sergey learned to fight in the street. Yeah. Literally. Literally. It's controlled the anger, from what I see. Well, he's learned to control anger. And, you know, he told me a story once about how he, he actually got in a fist fight with 10 guys on oh, the wow. street in Russia once. And Please explain. Elaborate. <laughs> Oh, this is a fabulous story. He told me this story. He, and in fact, in the there's going to be a video when he walks in, and you will see uh, a little kind of a animated image of this fight starting. So that that's what you're looking at at one point in the video. It's kind of about Sergey's life, but. He was driving his car, he, uh, he got stuck in the snow, he walked across the street to a little uh, bodega, or their version of a bodega, it's a kiosk, and, uh, and, and he went and he bought himself some water, and he was going to go back and roll up his sleeves and dig his car out, and while he was in there, a couple guys tried to mug him, started asking him for money, and he said, what do you think I am, ATM? And so he walked out and he left them. They followed him outside, two guys, and they picked a fight with him. So he knocked one of them out cold. The other one uh, took off. So now he's trying to get his car out because he knows what's coming next. Ten guys come back with a friend. He says to me, I see them coming. And I say to myself, I have two choices. I can run. He said, I'm athlete. I can run very fast. He said, or I can stay and fight. But this is, makes me scared. He was 18 years old when this yeah, yeah. happened. This makes me scared. He said, so I think to myself, if I run, I leave all my things here, my car, all my things. He said, man, I have to live with the knowledge that I've done this thing. <laughs> she tells you a lot about Sergey right yeah, there. Yeah. I thought that, that was now I get him. Um, he said, or I can stay and fight, but I know that there's 10 of them and one of me, and I'm scared. He said, but what can I do? <laughs> he, stood and fought. he knocked out four of them. So now there were five in the snow, and he's sleeping in the snow, as he said. <laughs> he said, and, and now he thinks to himself, oh my God, there's like six more coming. And he goes, and I remembered I had a hammer in my car, so he turned around and threatened them, threatened their lives. I'm going to kill all of you, whatever. He turns around, he opens the car door, he goes to get the hammer, he turns back around, and he sees their backs as they're running away. <laughs> and now he says, <laughs> I looked down at the guy sleeping in the snow and I raised the hammer because I was so mad and then I said no this is not a good decision so he put oh, the hammer wow. down now he goes back he sees another car goes to the stops at the kiosk and he walks up to the guy and he says can you help me move my car I have to get out of here because he knows that they're going to come back yeah. with weapons next time and he says this guy says to him, he looks at five guys sleeping in the snow as he said and he says what happened and Sergey he goes Sergey goes we got in a fight. He goes, you did this? He goes, yeah. He goes, well, then I better help you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. And he said, I got out of there as fast as I could. But I, my point being, he comes from uh, a very different place than a guy who was uh, an amateur from the time he was a child, who was who was mentored and guided by his uncle, who had all of this stuff laid out for him. They both got to the same place, but in such different ways. Right. And so he fears no man. Oh, he's not afraid of anything. The fact that they're suggesting he's afraid just makes me laugh. So um, they, that that explains to me they have no idea what they're dealing with here. But no, no, he's not afraid of anything. And uh, and I guess he's just like I said, a, a lot of the stuff that's been coming at him. Oh well, you know, why aren't you some kind of scary Russian? Why won't you let us promote this fight like you're some kind of devil? And you know, and this kid is an American citizen. He's he's living in two worlds here. Yeah. He loves his country, of course he does. I love my country. I mean, I love everything that the people that run my country do. Right now, I don't not even a little bit, but I still love my country. <laughs> and that's and, another interview. <laughs> yeah, it's a whole different interview. But you know what, I I can see where that and all this gossip girl stuff about the you know who called who and who. Yeah. Exactly. Oh my, I'm getting exhausted with it. This is a tremendous event. This is a great fight. Sergey wants his belts back. Ward wants respect. We have enough to talk about without getting into all this other stuff. And I think we're, I think he just got tired of talking. I don't blame him. I love the story. I can't ask any more questions because you just nailed it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much, Kathy. Thank you.